The woman is Matt Smith. What? You're thinking, he's lost it. Yeah, I, I, I have, but let me explain. What? There isn't much to explain about it. In House of the Dragon, Matt Smith has basically the same type of costume, the same type of hair as the figure. And as I said, you can't properly see the figure, so you can't really make it out. Maybe it's Matt Smith. What? I've lost it. Welcome back to New Who HQ, I am Matt. Today, we're going to be speaking about who is the woman from 73 Yards, who is she? I don't know who she is, I don't know what she's there for. Is this video pointless because we have had confirmation from Russell T Davis, which I'll go into in a second, that this woman is just a one episode, it's just a mystery. Don't, don't need to make a theory video about it, Matt, but there's something inside me that's saying no. It, it's got something to do with the overall plot of the series and Ruby, yes. So, a quick little touch up. Other YouTubers have done videos about ending explained, but very, very, very briefly, it was revealed that Ruby was the woman all along in the episode, basically. Where was the doctor in this episode? He was just behind the tiles having a wee the whole time. I hope you're not having a pee around the back. Okay, let's be serious. Firstly, the woman, uh, the actual actress, is not Mrs. Flood. Um, which is something which some people have sort of put together. They are two old ladies, and yes, they do look alike, but no, Mrs. Flood does appear in the episode as a hiker, but is shortly, obviously, gone, and even though we never actually see the face on Doctor Who Unleashed, we do see the act actress's face, and it is most definitely not Mrs. Flood. Russell T. Davis has also said in Doctor Who Unleashed that this is a one-time villain. You could sort of think of it as like a midnight entity back in Midnight in Series 4. Also on, on Unleashed, we never actually knew what um, the woman was saying. Uh, well, we, we did. I mean, it, um, it was something like nothing. It was just random chatter. Yes, I'm saying bless you. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. When you gave me that little thing, it was just so precious. How am I ever going to repay you? But we'll think of something. And back to the beginning. Bless you. That's it. But what if that actually meant anything, the certain actions she were doing, anything like that? Now also, Russell T. Davis is a liar. That sounds, I mean, he's, he's a lovely guy, but he, he lies about things. And I think he could have lied about that. But maybe I'm just thinking about this too much. The main reason why this whole f the theory is, is that we never actually see the face in the episode. And you would think throughout the episode we see Ruby getting older and older, we would see the face of the old woman which would look like Ruby because it is an older version of her which we've already seen so we would be able to sort of, you know, the older actress that played Ruby would then be able to be that woman and we'd be like, oh yeah, we can make that connection that it's Ruby but we never actually got that. Yet again, maybe it's a setting up for a mystery or maybe because there's something deeper inside. And what I mean by that is maybe this woman is linked to the finale in some way uh, or something to do with Ruby. Now there was a theory that this is Ruby's mother which I do think is always a possibility. I'd like to do a video about who Ruby's parents are. This would probably be something that comes up but I think the way the episode ends it's not really aiming more towards that. If it is towards Ruby, I think some of the episode is kind of wasted a little bit because it was all like a bit like a, a dream because at the end the Doctor comes back and we're back to normal and uh, it just kind of feels like that was all for nothing. Uh, plus I'm not really a fan of the middle of the episode anyway. It also doesn't make sense as to why, like what did Ruby, the old woman, what was she saying to her step, her foster mum, uh, all of the other people that ran away screaming from the figure? at times during the episode, what was so bad that they said? Like, what, if it was Ruby, what Ruby, what would have Ruby seen? And maybe it was something like, I want to be alone, because she was alone for the whole, for her whole time growing up. Maybe that was something to do with it. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me, and I want answers. I don't actually like mysteries, like, I like answers. I like everything to be told to me. And you're probably thinking, well, Matt, then, you know, Dot Who has mysteries in it. Yeah, I know, I get that. But I'd like a mystery that has some answers or maybe some form of actually makes any sense because I have rewatched the episode and I, it still doesn't make any sense to me. 
Um, I joked about the one who waits earlier on, but I don't think it is, but that figure is waiting for, well, waiting. Yeah, you could look at it as if it's waiting, the one who waits, maybe it is that figure. If the figure comes back to be very, very important, then I will. The main thing is that we are told that it is Ruby, yet we never properly see Ruby as the figure. So that is something happening there, is that we are told about the so-called evidence, but never actually showed the evidence. And if you know Doctor Who, it could very much be uh, leading up to something else. But also, I, I, I admit I get carried away with such theories. This could just be it. Like, shut up, Matt. Just leave it. it that is it. We are done with this with this theory. Maybe. I don't know. I'll look an absolute idiot if we get to the end of the series and this episode has nothing to do with anything going forward and I'm just babbling on for about 10 minutes. Literally about nothing. I think I just want answers and I don't think I'm going to get them, but if I do, I'll be very, very happy. But let me know what you think about this. Is this a complete waste of time and this has nothing to do with anything? I'll be quite interested. I think actually the reason the Doctor disappearing at the start was also quite interesting. It may be something to do with the fact that he stepped on the thing first, on the, like, the, um, what do you call it, the, like, the, the piece of string thing, and it was kind of like going off of the supernatural elements of, like, don't do this or this happens, kind of like when uh, the 14th Doctor put the salt and uh, summoned the toy maker, all of that type of supernatural fluff. So maybe that was one of the reasons that made him disappear. I'm not quite sure that never is properly explained. But um, that is the end of the video, really. Let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, please just subscribe and give this video a like. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.